What's up, YouTube family? Coming at you again today from my home gym, The Rack, here in Robertsdale, Alabama. And um, here to talk about high volume versus low volume training. You know, this is a, uh, a big subject, and now that I'm getting ready for a show, a lot of people ask me the same questions over and over. They're like, hey, since you're cutting, do you just start doing, you know, much higher uh, sets and reps um, in order to prepare for a show versus what you're doing? And you know, the answer in itself is no. Um, the old school mentality of thinking was, you know, when you're bulking, you do heavy weights with low reps. And then when you're cutting, you do, you know, lighter weights with more reps. The fact is, you know, there has been no major significant difference in hypertrophy. As long as the intensity is there and you are, your proximity to failure is good and you have good technique between five reps and 30 reps. Really and truly, there's been study after study after study that has shown that anywhere in this rep range is good. However, there's a few caveats here. Many times when you're going super high rep, like 30 reps, you'll have trouble um, gauging your proximity to failure. You know, you'll start being aerobically or uh, cardiovascularly tired and you will associate that with fail with proximity to failure when we're, when it's actually you know one of your other systems and not like your muscular system getting close to failure. So that's why you see a lot of guys focus in that eight to twelve rep range. It's definitely past five. You get a little bit more time under tension, and yet it's uh, pretty pretty easy to gauge your proximity to failure. Also, when you're doing heavy enough to where you know you're getting close to failure at five reps it can be uh, more damaging and more dangerous for your, you know, connective tissues, joints, tendons, ligaments, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're training for strength training, lower reps can be better. They can be, you know, they can produce more strength gains. But right now we're tra talking about maximum hypertrophy, which is just creating the most, you know, the most new muscle tissue from doing a workout. So, Anywhere in that five to 30 rep range is good. I like to stay in the eight to 12 and then sometimes the 10 to 15. So let's just say eight to 15 rep range, somewhere in there for the majority of the exercises. Um, you'll see that uh, in a future shoulder, in several of my shoulder videos, we've been doing uh, rep ranges up to 25 on like side laterals, uh, front laterals and rear delts. Um, this is something that my coach has supplied. I've gotten a lot out of it because it has been a break from my uh, heavier training and it does allow you to um, build up a little bit more lactic acid. So, but once again, as long as we're in that five to 30 range, we're in that, you know, maximum hypertrophy area of uh, the rep range. So in prep, I do the same approximately the same weights and rep ranges as I do outside of prep. Now, the stomach fatigue as it builds up because I'm doing the cardio, I'm not getting as much rest, and the leaner you get, the more your fight or flight kind of, your endocrine system fights you back and you don't get as much rest and recovery, um, the weights drop. But I'm not dropping the weights in order to just do high reps. The weights fall because, you know, strength does slightly increase or slightly decrease as, you know, I get closer and closer to show. But you want, your, your goal is to maintain as much muscle as possible while getting as lean as possible. You want to maintain a body that you've built under a, a similar of weights and rep ranges as you can from what you built it. If you built it in the off season and you're maintaining it in the uh, in the prep season, then you want to continue to stay as close to those rep ranges and weights as possible in order to maintain what you built. So there is no wrong answer when it comes to you know uh, high volume versus low volume as far as like reps go. Um, now there is the whole you know frame of mind of like, you know, should I do, should I train muscles once a week or more than once a week? You know, science has shown that the majority of the time that hitting a muscle more than once a week, as soon as it's 
recovered fully from the last workout, should be hitting it again, which generally works out to more than once a week. And then some muscles such as like calves and you know biceps, these could even be hit up to three times a week. Really, it's gauging your own recovery and seeing how much workout time you have and how much you overall volume you can recover from. But uh, generally speaking, you know, more volume is better. That doesn't mean that, you know, hundreds of sets a week on something is going to be better. You still need to be fully recovered by the next time you try to do the same muscle group. And granted, you know, you want to make sure that your, your, your nutrition and your sleep and all the other boxes are checked that go along with recovery so that you can get that maximum amount of volume. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to you know reach out and uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe, click the notification bell. And uh, like I said, anything I can do to help, leave me a comment and I'll do all that I can. Just remember, we get better together. You cannot beast the monster. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.